Hey everyone, welcome to Car Review. Today we're going to do a no spoilers review of the movie Tolkien, so let's get into it. So, Tolkien is a movie about J.R.R. Tolkien, the revered author of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings alike. And obviously we know who Tolkien is because those movies have been very successful. He has had some very masterful adaptations of his work. And uh, I would say this is a, another great adaptation for him and his name and his legacy. Because I really enjoyed this movie. Um, this movie was not what I expected it to be, though. I thought we were going to get more of a story about him and his his writing um, of the Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and those stories. And this movie is more about him getting into the mindset and what he went through to becoming a writer, not him actually writing. Um, and I'm just telling you guys that even though you could take that as like a spoiler, I guess I just didn't do my research on the movie before I watched it. Um, you know, before seeing this movie, I was never a fan of Tolkien really at all. I had only seen a handful of the, Lord of, of the Lord of the Rings movies, but before my best friend and I went to go see Tolkien, we did a movie marathon of the Hobbit trilogy, um, and that was that was superb. I really enjoyed all those movies, and I am now officially a Lord of the Ring and the Hobbit fan or a Middle Earth fan. Uh, so going into the uh, going into Tolkien, having just seen a, a a big body of his work on the big screen, made me appreciate this movie more. But like I said, this movie is not what I expected it to be. Um, it is more of a straightforward drama, and it's kind of drawn out, uh, much like the Lord of the Rings movies. This movie is quite long, and it can feel pretty long at points. If anything, I call this more of a drama slash love story because this is about him discovering who he is and who he wants to be and what he wants to do and that is surrounded by him falling in love with his wife who is played by Lily Collins who uh, does a great job as well as Nicholas Holt who is Tolkien respectively and they both gave amazing performances. This movie is it's driven and powered by the performances and the dialogue and the little bit of special effects that it has. It is a very well made and beautiful movie both on a physical level and on a mental level. It is beautiful. But again, it is not what I expected. Um, and it, it, it's, it's, it's telling a good story, but I think it lacked in substance a little bit in the sense that I wanted to see more of him actually putting pen to paper, you know, him him going through the first draft of The Hobbit, or, you know, or scribbling down notes and then throwing those notes away because he realizes that this, is, this isn't the story he wants to tell. You know, I wanted to see him go through the writer's block, you know, him, him, you know, sitting down and just writing for hours and hours, you know, seeing how that would affect his life, how that would affect the life of his family, and I did not get that story. The story is, is told about him going through life and, like I said, getting into that mindset and what puts him into that mindset of wanting to create, and they tell him going through the war, and again, it is a good movie, it is a good story to tell, it's just not the story that I thought that they would tell, nor is, the, nor is it the story that I wanted or expected. Um, that's not that's not a knock on the film it's just it's not what I would have preferred but what I did get um, it, it's it's really well done it is worth the admission if you are a J.R.R. Tolkien fan or a Lord of the Rings fan or a Hobbit fan definitely see this movie um, it is it is more of a slow burn though it is more sophisticated um, I could even say that it, it gets boring at times but again with what they're trying to tell you and how they're telling it once you get into the mindset of what this movie is you know then you're going to appreciate it a lot more just know that when you go into this it is it is more of a straightforward drama than anything else and uh you know having just become a new Tolkien fan maybe this was the best way to tell that particular story or his life story um and you know I I don't know you know just as an audience member I guess I wanted it to to be told a little more differently. It's kind of weird to talk about this movie um, in the context that I am having just become a new fan. But then again, you know, it's, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. And uh, I think it's good. It just, I just, I want it a little more. But again, if you're a fan, go see this movie. Anyway, that'll be my review of Tolkien. If you like this video, comment, share, like, subscribe to all the good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. All right, peace.